welcome back to the Bar. with the dark universe area again looking at the curse of the werewolf roller coaster over there and it look again looking fantastic look you can see some of the cubes starting to form we're on some some uh you know the queue covers for the, the building over there and there's the show building the barn still has that kind of drywall siding on the theming has not been completed on that yet but the track layout has been completed for a while now it looks pretty good Looking at a more overview shot of the of the dark universe area, with the one you can see the the I think that's the moon or the pizza restaurant, the barbecue restaurant, in the hub over there, that big building to the left hand side. But for the two smaller buildings right there are the village, and then there's the massive E ticket attraction, which will be like an uh, upgraded version of Harry Potter and Forbidden Journey. And there's an update on the windmill, the windmill restaurant, as well, which will be uh, the Currently putting putting in the hill for that. That one will look just like if, if, if you're walking to a hill, kind of like a speakeasy type of vibe, which is pretty awesome. Look at the Terra Luna and uh, Stella Nova Hotel. One of the hotels has the pool getting ready to go. There, you can see that big circle. Almost looks like a moon or an, a <coughs> an asteroid, and I think that's what they're going for. They're probably going to go for like a moon type of vibe over there. It's very very circular. And the sister hotel starting to rise quickly. Already cut a few floors up. Again, these are being built prefab, so they're being built in sections and then being stacked, being built off site, then being stacked like Legos on site, which makes it a very fast construction build. The in park Helios Hotel is being built the traditional way, which is why it's going a little bit slower. And again, here's a closer look at the the new I think yeah, Estella Nova or Terra Luna, not sure which one's which hotel. You can see in the ground there the imprints of kind of like the Legos shapes of where they'll be placed in and that it looks just the mirror image of the hotel across the street. Looking at the in park hotel, still just the floor up, um, looks like the main floor, but again, when we get to the hotel levels, those will be smaller, they'll be repeat, so should go much faster than the lobby and mezzanine or, mezzanine or con uh, convention levels. And the parking garage looks just about done. Taking a look at the hub water carousel, or the rumor name is Constellation Carousel based on trademarks. You can see uh, looking absolutely just gorgeous there. And you can even see the Super Nintendo World portal just to the north of there with its escalators and warp pipes forming. We'll get to that a little bit later. But yeah, this, this looks absolutely gorgeous. You can see a lot of the pipe work for the... Uh, water features will be surrounding this this will be like over a little lake look absolutely gorgeous here's an overhead shot of how big this attraction is in compared to the massive fountain show and that is huge that Bellagio style fountain show which is getting some bleacher type seating or some amphitheater type seating over to the north there you can see that on top left of the picture and starfall racers Looking absolutely fantastic. Again, we'll get to that in a big session. And there's the portal to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, it's a large park, but it's not like super large where things are super far apart. Um, the hubs, these things in the hub, these attractions and shows in the hub, are relatively close to the portals of each land, which is pretty good. Here's one more overhead shot of the entire attraction. You can see still lots of footers and pumps um, for things because there'll be like another I think structure over it so there's a lot of work left to do but it looks uh, absolutely fantastic and here's a straight down shot of Super Nintendo World more theme is appearing on the Yoshi adventure section of the land as well as the Mushroom Kingdom itself is getting lots of 
concrete work and lots of uh, scaffolding and lots of theming work as the structure starts to take shape. Mount Beanpole looking absolutely fantastic. That's at the number two over there. You can see the elevator bank to go from the top floor to the lower floor where Toad's Cafe and the eventual entrance to Donkey Kong will be in the land to help with ADA accessibility. Moving on over to the Donkey Kong section of the land. Good. Continue uh, mock track continues to be a uh, fake track continues to install and look fantastic. The interior sections are getting worked on. You can see the temple, the green uh, siding theming over there. That temple theming will continue, and work on the show building continues as well. Getting a more direct look at the land, you can see again there's that lift to some of the fake track and real track, and some uh, break ones as well. You can see those catwalks over there as it makes a turn around inside the building and then they see a drop that is covered in plastic right there for uh, Donkey Kong or mine, mine Cart Madness. Zooming in real close to, this is the part where you come right out of the station in the temple and uh, come onto the lift hill over there and yeah, it looks uh, absolutely fantastic. Look at that beautiful theming right there. Can't wait to see what the inside of the temple looks like as well. A lot more dirt. The whole dirt will be a jungle themed walkway like you see in the Mushroom Kingdom with its fancy walkway. So yeah, very excited to see what this area of the land looks like since it's not done anywhere in the world yet, which is incredible. Take a look at this straight down shot of the Mushroom Kingdom. You see the P Princess Peach's castle in this grand staircase leading down to the lower level, level of the land. Yoshi's Adventure, Bowser's Castle and Toad's Cafe all starting to form. And finally, looking at the Super Nintendo World portal, you can see the escalators have been installed and are currently covered up. This will be a massive war pipe, green war pipe structure, structure like you see in Japan and here in Hollywood. But this time, the portal will have little mini pipes going up on them, as again, each portal in Epic Universe to each land will have a beacon to kind of draw you in and tell you kind of what land you're going into. Taking a look at Starfall Racers, the circuit is almost complete. They just got to put in a couple more airtime hills. But remember in the last update when I was like, man, still got a lot of supports and track for the back section. And look, it is all gone. It's all done. Massive wide turns. And yeah, just a couple more airtime hills. And then they're kind of connected. And then the circuit will be complete, which is pretty freaking incredible. Taking a close look at the newly added track as you make that turnaround, you can see the orange construction fence is the border of the attraction and those supports go very very close to it and then how to train your dragon is just just to the south of that but you can see that very crazy element right there that very sharp turn as you go from across the the turn to taking a dip to the left hand that is that's a very very quick turn and here's an, just an overview of the starfall races attraction and how to train your dragon area you see how close they are to each other there's the how to train your dragon family coaster and starfall racers intense coaster there this thing is huge this will probably be by far the definitely the longest coaster in the park and the most thrilling coaster in the park and maybe one of the longest attractions in terms of like feet in the park as well because this thing is just massive looks absolutely gorgeous and yeah can't wait to see them next they'll probably start working on the station a lot more since they just about finished the circuit then testing will come eventually lastly here we have just a quick update on the wizarding world just want to see those beautiful um roof facades that continue to uh better and better with every update and you can see there's even some color and tile on the facades to the south there to the bottom of the picture but yeah this this area will look absolutely fantastic and i just cannot wait to walk in it that's our epic universe update 2 for today massive thank you to bio reconstruct who just revealed on twitter who has uh, leukemia so thoughts uh and prayers to, to bio reconstruct he's doing just fine he's in and out of the hospital and hopefully he can get rid of that because uh yeah that sucks such a cool guy such an awesome dude i've dm'd him talked a little bit uh yeah such a very nice guy so hopefully he feels better prayer everyone Give a nice uh, shout out to Bio Reconstruct and go give him a follow on Twitter for some Epic Universe awesome up pictures, a lot more than I said showcase here, and other theme parks as well. Well, uh, if you like this video, press that thumbs up, subscribe for more uh, updates, and have an epic day.